ever seen data like this and thought where do I even start? One careful split at a time and will line everything up in the right order. Let's pull them apart properly with Power Query. Clean rows, single values, sorted by sequence. Select your table and load it into Power Query. Data from table range. First, we turn each name sequence pair into its own row. Think of semicolons as separators. Split there. Select the data column, then use transform split by column by delimiter. In the delimiter box, type semicolon or semicolon including the space. Then go to advanced options and choose split into rows. OK. What you'll see. Each state row expands into several rows. One name sequence per row. If we try to split by the column first, we'll still have multiple pairs in one cell. Now select the data column and use transform split column by delimiter once more. Type the delimiter as column or space and column. What you'll see. Two new columns. Data 1 and Data 2. I prefer to rename them right in the formula bar. Name and sequence. Now you can see that some rows still contain multiple sequences. Some people have more than one sequence number. We must split the sequence column by comma and Turn each number into its own row. Select the sequence column, transform split column by delimiter. Enter comma or comma including the space. In advanced options, select split into rows. So if a name had multiple sequences, you'll now have two rows or multiple rows for that name. Same state, different sequence. Now we need to convert sequence from text with extra spaces to a proper number, so we can sort and use it numerically. If you've got some extra characters, the conversion may fail for values that look numeric but contain invisible characters. And now we just need to arrange the columns. Name, sequence, then state. It reads better and matches our expected output. Finally, sort by sequence number so the rows follow the sequence order. Click the sequence header, sort ascending. The trick with tangled text like this is choosing the right order of splits. Start by asking what's the largest chunk that repeats. Here it's the name numbers pair. So we split those into rows first. Then ask inside each chunk what needs to be separated next. That's where the column comes in to split names and their numbers lists. And only then do we split the number lists by commas? Always go from bigger units to smaller pieces. If you split, if that helped, hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.